everybody. Chris here. Hey, um, I want to give an honest review of this air compressor. Um, this is one of my favorite compressors, and I'll tell you why. Um, when I originally got found out about this model, I was looking for some air compressor to fill up the drive tires in my 1480 combine, uh, first combine, derby combine I got. And it had a tire that always had a slow leak in it. So after, you know, after a couple of days, it'd be completely flat. And I bought a compressor just like this one for $20 or $25 or so. The problem with it was it could never get above 20 PSI, which is totally fine because um, the drive tires on combines, you fill up to about 18 PSI. So it's perfect. Got a nice heavy duty compressor that I could just fill up uh, the tires with and I you know, wouldn't have to worry. So I like I abused that thing. And the use of it was, you know, during the summer time period. So, you know, it wasn't it was wasn't even good use. Um, meaning, you know, it was really hot and I was really putting it to work. So I got I became really impressed with this particular model. And then so I've always had one ever since. Um so I've used this to fill up tires on cars. I've used it to run air nailers when I was doing the uh, bathroom here and the bathroom for my mom. And I've even used this to run um, drywall texture uh, gun. So, you know, it, it's a great multiple, it's a great tool that can serve multiple functions. Oh, and I've also used this as sort of like an extra oomph when I go to blow out the irrigation. I'll hook it up to the other compressors that I used to blow out the irrigation and give it a little bit extra. So, um, so yeah, so even, you know, this particular model definitely been put through its ropes. Um, reason, one of the reasons I like it is small. This is a foot tile here. So you'll see that it's, you know, only about a foot and a half. It's, you know, about a foot and a half wide. Um, and it weighs probably in the 30 pounds, 30 to 40 pound, uh, for, uh, weight range. Um, it can do, um, the, it's got the 135 PSI, 3.7 at 40 and 2.4 at 90. It's one horsepower motor, three gallon, uh, tank. And like I said, it seems to be a great, um, niche for the do it yourselfers who need something that's strong enough and big enough, but it also can be moved around and used for multiple uses. And that's one of the reasons why I like this. Now I got a Milwaukee one, so I don't need two. So I'm on the verge of selling this, but I'm very, don't really want to sell it, but I really can't use two. So the model number is 0247788. So if you, if you happen to see, if you are looking for a little compressor that can solve multiple needs, um, this is the one for you. Um, you will not uh, go wrong with this particular compressor. Um, I also use it at the combine derbies too, um, to you know if I have to fill up back tires or whatever. So, um, so yeah, I've liked this machine, and you know if the Milwaukee one doesn't work out, I'll probably end up getting another one. Um, you'll hear a little bit more about the Milwaukee compressor in a future video. All right, if you like this video, go ahead and like it and uh, subscribe to my channel.